let's understand what is task definition task de- definition is nothing but how you want your docker image to run and that's it so what will be the port uh, for that docker that was export uh, exposed inside the docker file and something like that how much cpu memory you want to give that particular container to run um, and all sorts of stuff so and which image you want to use that is related to ecr okay so now you might be connecting the dots saying that okay you already pushed that image to ecr right now you are creating a task definition of like how you want that one to run right so the first step as soon as you ima- as soon as you push that uh, image to ecr first thing you have to create task definition now let me quickly go and create task definition where you can find task definition that is that is inside the ecs service go over here cluster don't require that that is a task definition and create a new task over here now create a new task with a name called users because we are creating user service api so launch type is the aws fargate please select that one because we don't have to manage the infrastructure everything will be configured by or managed by aws i would say yes this is the linux instance remember i created like dot dots platform linux amd so this is the one i was talking about else i would have uh, selected something else but yeah keep it that simple now you can select anything smaller something like that 0.25 so i'm just keeping for uh, uh, testing purposes that should be launched quickly so i just i'm just creating that one there now the task role uh, you can create a new task role uh, whatever you want but i've already uh, created just one uh, role and i will be assigning uh, that role to both task role and task role so uh, task execution role to both right um, so just uh, you know uh, if you don't create anything like if you create none this will be automatically be created so just leave that one as of now uh, create a new one as soon as that was created come back to this one and then just select this one ecs task and uh, uh, execution role so what inside that role is i'll just quickly show you is um it has ecs task definition role so <laughs> all the configuration you have to add over here so if you are creating a task definition role with different name what all policies should be inside is that amazon is a task execution role policy so that that needs to go to uh, uh, inside that one inside the role uh, task role yeah i do understand that is there a tax execution role policy but yeah you can add in both uh, uh, whatever you prefer that is required amazon ssm full access as well or you can you know restrict that one based on your requirements this is the most important point enable execute command so that is i'm going to tell you why that is important so just uh, add that one via this add permission in line and then ecs execute command please do add that one there as well second point is that allow policies yes you can uh, add uh, uh, all the fargate ecs policies there uh, for all the resources everything so i just i just created one role and assigned that role to both like task role plus task execution role and that is the most important part second thing is that now the container details which i was telling you that we have to configure over here so now you just write like user api i'm just keeping consistency now we'll go back to ecr here right so here i you need to go inside that one and see you have to copy this particular url if you go back and paste it see this url comes like this users api colon latest so it's we are telling that hey use one of the image that has a latest tag so if you deploy that uh, image one more time so it will be like dash and that this will be uh, <coughs> uh old and then the new will be having a, a new tag called latest so every time uh, we are launching that one we are telling that hey every time use the latest version now that was exposed to 9001 if you do remember if i go and show you see here so this is the 9001 that was exposed there so you have to expose there that one right so i'm of uh, i'm gonna give a naming convention as of now the port name as well uh as exactly the same which i'm giving the service name okay uh so over here you don't have to worry about anything plus please do you know check this one use log collection so that you will understand what's going on behind the scene now uh, don't worry about those stuff and uh monitoring stuff and everything just create that one okay 
so the task definition has been created right the so container and everything now the second point what you have to do is go and create a task so what is task and uh, everything we will see in the next video thanks for watching